As you guys probably know, I recently made a large scale FPV car using two 775DC motors in a dual configuration. In the beginning, based on the specification for those motors on Banggood website, which shows a current consumption of less than 200 milliamps, I used a L298N motor driver, but I burned it on the first test. The current was too high for this board, so I decided to use a BTS 7960B motor driver, which claims to be rated up to 43 amps. It worked fine at first, but I was noticing it was getting really warm. Since I've got two motors in my RC, I decided to use two of those motor drivers instead. They work fine, but still getting quite warm. This fact made me think that the specifications for those motors on Banggood website can't be correct. Also, in the previous videos, I showed you how to make two different tachometers based on two techniques, laser and LED and Hall effect sensor and magnets. In this video, I'd like to use this experiment in conjunction with a power meter to carry out some tests with a 775DC motor in order to confirm if the specifications provided on my good website are correct. So let's check it out. The specifications I'd like to check in these videos are current and speed. For current, I could use just my power supply, I have there this information, but I'm gonna double check with a power meter. For speed, I'm gonna use the tachometers we designed in the previous videos. settled, let's begin. So here are our results. As you guys can see, don't match with the specifications on Banggood website. For 12 volts, we are supposed to have 140 milliamps current, we have got 1.25 amps. For 18 volts, we are supposed to have uh, 150 milliamps, we have got 2 amps. 
for 24 volts 160 milliamps we have got 2.75 amps for 30 volts 170 milliamps we have got 3.5 amps for 36 volts 200 milliamps we have got 4 amps the same for speed uh, 12 volts we are supposed to have 3500 rpm we have got 9000 rpm for 18 volts 4500 we have got 13200 for 24 volts 7000 rpm we have got 17250 for 30 volts 8100 we have got 19500 and for 36 volts 9000 rpm we have got 21000 so for 36 volts we are supposed to have 9000 rpm and you have already got this value with 12 volts the current can be even higher if you place this motor in a RC car my RC car is really heavy and the current is even higher I probably gonna record another video where I can show you the measurements of current in the of these motors in my car so that's it guys I hope you guys like this video if yes please thumbs up subscribe and then you catch you next time